good morning from the redneck out enjoying a beautiful morning with my wife Steph she's got a tag in her pocket we're looking for some venison it's uh, an early season antlerless season here in Missouri so it's a great opportunity to get out get some venison and work towards balancing the number of deer we have for the amount of food here at the Proving Grounds too. We're in a wicked drought and we know food is skinny and in especially going into winter. So we're not holding back on does and that gives Steph the green light to, to target some does and I've got some tags in my pocket too. So hopefully we can keep that old Winchester barrel warm and get some venison on the ground. So we've already seen two small spikes come out. One worked a scrape just about 10 yards over our shoulder here right beside the blind that was really cool and but it's worked out to the plot and it's now feeding so great start to the morning we've got a couple large chinka pins that are dropping acorns right here on the edge of this plot and this is long top of a hardwood ridge where there's a lot of acorns in the area so we know food is key that's the limited resource right now and they're going to those acorns so they're just going to be crossing back and forth um, this is almost like a big shooting lane through the middle of a lot of great food so we've got green cover forage out here we've got you know food plot acorns and a, just a beautiful stunning uh, view from the redneck here and leaves are starting to change colors it's going to be a fun morning Yeah, 
we're sitting here, it's about nine o'clock, and I mean just whew, I see this flash and it's a a doe running out with a fawn. And about that time I look right behind it. Big set of antlers coming out of the timber. <laughs> and it was all I could do to get the camera around, get the window up as quick as we could. Nice buck was pushing that doe. And he pushed her out. He started feeding. But he was, the doe I saw, I don't know if I was filming or not, but she kind of squatted it there in the plot. He was hanging by her, and then she kind of swung wide feeding and just had enough time to get everything settled, get stuff on the Winchester. And, like she put a pretty good shot on a big old doe, so. Of course, that buck didn't know where in the world. He just heard a boom. He's not associating it with a, with a hunter. You know, you may say you don't want to educate that deer, you know, shooting during doe season, but we're here to target does, and we're going to take every doe we can. And you could tell by the reaction of that buck. He just, he just saw that doe run out of the field, and he just turned and followed her. He didn't know we were in the world, so no chance. We've alerted that buck to a hunting location and educated him further, you know, down the road, but we got big doe on the ground. We'll see if another one comes out. Or if that buck circles back, that'd be cool. That was a nice buck. The pre-rut is ramping up. Seeing a little chasing. Seeing some scrape activity. Very cool. Here we go. Wanna look for blood. We marked our tree. We looked at the footage and we could tell she's kind of standing over here by this tree, so we're gonna get right over here and look for blood. Hopefully she's not too far. It's super dry, so that blood was dry as it is just getting soaked up by by the dust. But uh, when you make a good shot. Sometimes you don't have to look very hard because I think I see a white belly over here. Do you see it? Do you see it, Steph? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go check her out. I mean, she's she's just right here, 15 yards out of the plot. Let's go look at her. <laughs> Great shot, Steph. Yep, a lot of blood. Yeah, we were we were back behind her trail, just ten yards. We would have found her. But... What do you think of that? Pretty great. Pretty. Good morning in the blind, huh? Yep. All right, let's take a look at her. Let's look at that shot. Don't get much better than that. Oh dear. Big old doe. Don't have to go too far for a drag. I think you and I can drag her. I was kind of worried when she was running downhill how far, how far I was going to have to. Steph says she's pulling, but I, sometimes I wonder. Well, it depends on which direction you're pulling. <laughs> All right. Yeah, babe. 